Other thing, other thing I'm doing, I've got two trucks coming today, so I'm going to take a cord out of each one, and tomorrow I'm going to take it over to Triad. We're going to get it tested. I'll make sure you get those results, That'd too. That'd be great. Yep. And, yep. You know, the thing about it is, if you could save one at the very last and then let it cure for a long time, that way you can get a degree of curve. Oh, so okay. You, see what you can get initially, and then see what you can get over the long term, because... So I mean, one right away, and then maybe one wait 28 days or something like that? Days, yeah. Okay, all right. Exactly. Okay, sounds good to me. And, and, you know, that way you can develop a curve. Oh, you know, you're, you're developing this much strength in this short period of time, and then you have this much strength that, that you can get over a long period of time. Okay. And, you know, that'll get to that 65 or, or whatever. Sure. You know, PSI that you were talking about. Sure. Okay, great, great. You're, you're in good shape. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Uh, but, but but again, just, just make sure you get those big things out. If okay. if you just, quite frankly, if you just take a small rock like that to get it up, just get course, off the bottom. Just to get off the bottom. But it should be in, you know, this should be on the knees to be eight inches thick. Okay. So if you get it about four inches up, which is what you want, and just make sure you get the loose out. So okay. you're in good shape. I mean, you're on, you're down on good material, so it'll be fine. Good enough. Thanks for stopping by. I know you're sure. pressed for time. No, no. It, you know. We're going to stack concrete seven feet tall, right? Right. Seven feet tall. So any of you guys, uh, if you're concerned about engineering and stuff like that, uh, a lot of, I think more than anything, people are just wondering how in the world you're going to get uh, concrete to stand up like that without having forms and stuff, or you know, making your, your footer first and then later on coming back and then doing the, uh, the rest of the wall with forms on top of the footer. Here we're going to do it monolithic. As you've seen earlier in the, in the video, it shows the, uh, as it shows here, the, uh, the you know, the, the rebar that you have into there, uh, uh, I think you had, what, what was the specifications you had on your rebar? Kept a 60 rebar, 18 inches on center, number fives and number fours. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> so it's, it's going to be there. And then of All course right. we have our, you know, we have the wall builder and the number two, uh, right. yeah, the, the two inch slump, stuff like that. It's going to be pretty strong. What do you think, Carl? I don't think the wall's going anywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> now it would have been nicer. Honestly on that wall. <laughs> It would have been nicer to have uh, you know, kind of a, a S shape, you know, which really, you know, increases the strength. So when Down we design it next time, you know, you probably do a, an S shape. But you know, this right here, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. You got a pretty, pretty solid wall, and we'll see how it goes today. Right. We have about uh, nine yards coming now, and then nine more after that. And we have a nine sack mix. You can get anywhere from a nine sack. We were up in uh, Ohio early. We did an eleven sack mix. When that stuff hit the ground, it just froze. <laughs> so a good thing for the wall builder or the wall finish would help us on the finish and stuff like that. Well, we look forward to pouring it. Yep. So I think it's uh, it's nice and overcast today, which is the perfect weather for pouring. All right, let's go get them, man. All right. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yep. Arthur Hilton from uh, Blue Ridge Lands uh, Landscaping, uh, one of our uh, dealers out in uh, uh, Virginia. Yep. And of course, over here with uh, Brian Weir, the homeowner here. Brian, tell us a little bit what uh, kind of what you think of all this right here, and kind of how you. I'm not sure you can put it into words. Um, it's amazing. Uh, you watch the video on the website, and you see it, and you say, "Well, that looks pretty neat." And 
until you actually see it in person, it's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Cool, cool. How do you feel about things now? Um, now this is your first wall, I think, right, you guys, bought, as dealers. Happy. This is our first project. That's why we had Dave come out here to give us a hand. Uh, you know, of course, we'd already been to the training, and we saw that firsthand and worked on that firsthand, but this was a pretty large project, and it turned out perfect, exactly the way I'd hoped it would. Now, what was the kind of, there was a little deal with the engineer. I know he was out here. and Yeah, we had, we had to get an engineer involved. It was over, it was a six and a half foot high wall, probably eight and a half feet high from the bottom of the footer. You know, so we had to get stamped engineer drawings to get a permit, and uh, the engineer had never seen or heard of anything like this either. So it was a work, it was a work in progress. Oh, nice. Now, what you, I know you cored out the concrete. What did, what were the core findings that you found? Well, so far we've only done a one day test, uh, one day cylinder test, and uh, it tested out double normal concrete, double psi normal concrete after one day. Wow. I think the reading was uh, 2865 psi after 24 hours. And this is the core sample that you took from the one you did yesterday? Straight out of the truck from the wall we poured yesterday. Cool. Were you a little nervous, Brian, when you first saw just a bunch of mud all over the place? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I was probably even nervous when we agreed to do this because, you know, it's a new product and I felt like, you know, we were the guinea pig, but obviously we had a, you know, agreement that, you know, it was a win-win situation for both of us. And, um, you know, the fact that you were here to participate in it, obviously that helped my confidence level with it. Cool. But, um, yeah, I mean... Aren't they a great crew, though? Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. these guys are some of the hardest working guys I've, in all my dealers. These guys are some of the hardest working guys I got. So. And I mean, it was a half and half. It wasn't just all the field workers. It was the normal office workers that were out here. Wasn't that amazing? Yeah. These guys don't, they don't mess around. They got some quality. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Thanks a lot. You bet, Brian. I appreciate your help very much. You taught us a lot. All right, good, good. See you, Brian.